How to survive after 18 by offending child, everybody. Child. Hold on, Diddy. They oh, just turned 18. That's crazy. Yeah, you can cross them off your playlist now. Get them out of here, Don't get too comfortable. Just because you're off P. Diddle's menu doesn't mean you're safe. So here's 10 ways Not to survive yep, after 18. Number one, point. financial literacy. Credit cards, compounding interest. Buy me that Bruh. purse, daddy. You're going to need to figure out how money works fast. First Back. step is Star Trek. Bro, I watched a TikTok and realized we don't, they don't teach us nothing about the real world, nothing, bro. Nothing. They don't teach us all this, this theoretical shit. Bro, teach me how the highways work, bro. Teach me how to pay my taxes, bro. Teach me, bro. What are we doing? Facts. What, what? In your expenses. If you're spending more on the fans oh. than food, then it's time to dial it back. Next, you're going to yeah. want to start investing. And no, I don't mean NFTs or crypto. I mean None proven money makers, down. like an index fund or Kleenex stock before Valentine's Day. If business school taught me anything, it's loners be fapping. Finally, you're going to have to be patient, <laughs> which is hard for your TikTok brain to understand. But I want money now! Wait, I'll just start day trading. No. Oh. Day trading isn't oh. investing. Smack it's gambling for people this. bad at math. I get it. I ain't gonna lie, day trading is super gambling, gambling. for people bad at math. But you know, crazy. you know what it's, it's it's like it's really good gambling. I Legal love gambling, bro. Man, if I ever, if I'm ever down, if I'm ever down too much, I go day trade. <laughs> I go day trade for like a, I, just like, I go day trade for like a two, like a week or two. He won't hear about it again. That's because I came up. <laughs> numbers crazy. are big and sometimes scary, but saying YOLO and hitting enter on the keyboard isn't the best money farming strat. No one knows this better than Diddy. Say what you want about him, but that man worked hard to achieve his dreams of ruining other people's dreams. Yeah. Oh. Number two, oh. roommates. They say marriage is all about compromise, but it's the exact opposite with roommates. If you give an inch, they'll take a mile, so never back this down. Sure, your true. girl can stay over as a slippery slope to tampons in your cereal. Not Whoa. my honey, no! Now, telling Whoa. your roommates they can't have another tenant will make them angry. And all you gotta do is ratchet up the crazy. Writing, always watching, on the bathroom mirror is the quickest way to get them to stop Bruh. bothering you. Believe me. It's not like... Only pick roommates that you really think you can trust. Bro. I don't see how y'all be doing the random stranger yeah, roommate nah, shit. That, I can't do that. I can barely do friends. There's certain people I know I can't live with. Bro. Girl, I can't live with this nigga. Uh, if we wasn't doing content together, I could live with him either. K what did I? It's certain people you know you will. I have a brother I know for a fact I never want to live with again. Ever, ever, ever. Like they can leave. The only reason why I can't live with Mike, Mike annoying, bro. What the? No, it's fuck. My fault. And I keep all my, I, I, I'm, I keep to myself, bro. Right. The nigga breaking my room, bro. Right. Why you, why you still going with that lie? <laughs> you still going They're with that lie? They're too poor to leave. <laughs> and so are you. So if you're going to be forced to live with someone, it might as well be the one in control. <laughs> Number three, find a job. Take what yep. you can get. Construction, retail, hands, mm -hmm. anything that helps pay uh, the bills. A man without money is like a girl with a gag reflex. Useless. Uh, so start oh, lowering oh. your standards and accepting whatever makes you paper. Yeah, McDonald's is embarrassing, but someone's being yeah. broke. Your you pride ain't yeah, you paying job, rent, bro. so go Come ahead on, and bro. swallow it. Besides, nice. minimum wage jobs teach valuable <laughs> lessons, like how to steal office supplies, or how to suppress the urge of holding a Karen in the deep fryer, saying, Is this hot enough for you? At the end of the day, you gotta do whatever it takes to survive. Right, no. So push aside your ego and man up. Or man down, depending on what job you choose. Again, no judgments. Do whatever makes you money. Well, oh. as long as it doesn't involve kids, you know? <laughs> I feel like a lot of YouTubers are having a hard time with that one. Number Come four, on! phone dopamine. You could be outliving your not, best I'm life, but instead problem, you're just scrolling. Control all deleting sections of your day. Convincing yourself, I'm being productive, I'm just checking email. No, bitch, you're checking out mentally. How much time have you spent on your phone this week? 30 hours? 40 hours? That's basically a full-time job. And all you have Fine. to show for it is a stiff neck and disappointed parents. But hey, who bro. needs hobbies, self-improvement, and human connections when you can watch AI-generated thirst traps? Ew. Oh, dad is home. Face it, your Yo! phone has power over you. How many of you wake up and mindlessly scroll before your feet hit the floor? Saying just a few Very more. It can't be that bad, bro. Huh? It can't be that bad. What you mean? Like waking up and scrolling? You, I, wa I you, wake up and scroll. I don't you a wake up scroller? Yeah, like I wake up. Like, because you know how you don't be wanting to get out of bed, but you like, I need to stay up, but I don't want to get out of bed. And they're like, oh, let me check my messages. And then you check, you ain't got no text messages. So you just go to Bro, I just lock my phone and go back to bed. I don't, like, when you want, when I want to get up, like, I need to get up. I But I don't want to get out the bed because it's cold in here. I just want to stay snuggled up. So I just, yeah, I'm up. I'm going to get up in a couple minutes. That couple minutes turn to 30 minutes, turn to 40 minutes, and then boom, boom, bam. But on the bright side. My screen time has been down for the past two, three weeks. We've been moving. I think my, my screen, screen time, time is down tremendously. It's down from like eight hours a day to like one. 
Screen time. No cap. What you at, bro? Uh, tell me yours first, bro. What is mine? Oh, it's five hours right now. Oh, shit. I'm up. I'm at six hours and 51. Let's see. My average is five What hours. is the average? Oh, my average is down to four. Yeah, I'm 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 yeah, at six hours fifty one. I'm using it. I'm shit. actually up this week. Watching Twitch streamers. Yep, you know? been doing a sign. Hey, you feel Watching it? Twitch <laughs> Trying to learn. <laughs> now stop, you fucking addict. Stop being a crackhead and start taking control. Delete some apps. Set some timers. Really? Punch your homie in the. Really? Do whatever it takes to limit your screen time. Because at this rate, you're not living life. You're just wow. watching other people pretend to live theirs. Oh. Five relationships. Oh. Relationships are gonna be tough because girlfriends are expensive. Or cheap, depending on the quality. What is that? A budget iPhone? Oh, uh, I want to finger uh, something uh, pretty. But when you're poor, you don't uh, have many options. It's hard to find a girl with all holes on the table when you don't have money. Sure, it's possible, but like a hole in one, it's pretty rare. Hey, fellas, so starts. Bro. Look, 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 twin. Don't. Captain Communication Let's. is here to save the day. Listen to my dog. This nigga, hey, right. talk to him. Listen Bitch, to my Cap Captain Communication. And uh, fucking my fault. Captain Communication and the Incredible Stroke are here to give you some advice. You feel me? Don't let your girlfriend trick you into just blowing money, bro. It's okay to buy her food. It's okay to buy her gifts and all that. There's no reason you should be blowing hey. through your paychecks. Hey. One moment, Incredible Stroke. Okay. It's no reason you should be blowing through paychecks, not being able to pay your bills, not having leftover money hey. because of a relationship. Hey, she I? should also have a job. Hey. She should also have her own money. Hey. When you're not there, she should be buying her own food. Hey. Now, if you want to treat her a spoiler, that's fine. Hey. But make sure you got your extra money left hey. over to take care of stuff you need to. Hey. And then, hey. after you get that advice from me, make sure well, after that's working for you, Come back to Aaron. He'll teach you stroke game. Hold on. Wait a minute. Got Let's, no, leave us full screen, you son of a bitch. Okay. You're actually Captain Communication. What is this incredible? Stop. Let's stop with the nonsense. There's a whole Twitch it's, emote. You're actually Captain Communication. Of you. That's stroking. just a... a you're that's, actually that's, Captain Communication. That's, okay, that's fine. Incredible stroke. Okay. I, I despise you sometimes. And we got Dr. Strap on. <laughs> <laughs> with Silver. And we got a couple other Avengers, bro. What's the, what's the problem? I'm not an Avenger. And the bro. crazy part is they all agreed on your name. So I'm not an say, Avenger. Or you, which one you want to be? Incredible Stroke or the other one? I'm not a. I'm, what's the other one? Don't make me say it. I'm neither. Uh, 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 Settling for three numbers below your starting point doesn't look good in the daylight, I know. But heavy makeup in a dark nightclub can make a four oh. evolve into an eight. Just whatever you do, don't really settle can, for a fat. Fatties tell your homies uh, you've uh, officially uh, given up. Have some dignity. Lizzo on don't there give me that any hole is good. If that's the case, then why not buy a light? Hmm? Oh. Call it Stacy and stick it in a Zuko oh, body pillow. No headaches and always open for business. Sounds like your dream girl, right? Uh, Wrong. Because oh. what you really want Jesus. is validation, and there's no better validation than showing your homies the dime piece you just caught. With that bait, you caught that? With that? Number six, <laughs> fake it till you make it. Most of adulting is pretending. Pretending yeah. to smile. Pretending yeah. to care. Pretending to file taxes. Sometimes I pretend I'm an Austrian oh. woman and post mid-journey creative feet pics under the name Your Meat, My Feet. Tate was right. Sims are easy to monetize. You see, being an <laughs> adult is all about bluffing. So what if your hand sucks? May people believe you're Bruh, holding queens? When you realize how many people out here are bluffing, it's crazy. Bruh. Faking the phone. Luckily, we're in a position we don't have to bluff about anything. I, I we bluff. don't have to. Fight. I was we wasn't bluffing about anything even before the YouTube started working. But like, it's it's just it's no reason to be out here just to be inauthentic. It, right? Yeah, just be yourself, bro. When you're barely holding it together, remember no one knows what they're doing and we're all just winging it. So don't be so hard on yourself. Very no. true. I remember what I was saying. Um, with us as YouTubers, like a lot of big YouTubers don't necessarily like us. Or a lot of people don't like gravitate towards us or they treat us a certain way because we don't have big YouTuber egos, even though we're big YouTubers. I guess you can say that. It's like, weird. It's like totally backwards. Yeah, like it's they're totally like, backwards. oh, you're not you're not egotistical. Oh, I don't like you. They want us to have terrible egos. 
holding it together. Remember, no one knows what they're doing and we're all just winging it, so don't be so hard on yourself for not having life figured out. I mean, it's Everybody's not like winging it. Manuals, every single unless person. Unless you count my channel. How to fix being ugly, how to touch your first boobie, how to be a terrible father. No one gives such Crazy useful videos, and awful <laughs> advice like I do. So listen to me Actual. when I tell you, you will always be a loser unless you pretend to be a winner. Number seven, mm. friends. Making friends after 18 is like stitching shoes. Sure, it's possible, but it's much easier for a child. So you better hold oh. on to some high school homies. Sure, they're screw-ups, but they're failure is your entertainment. I had a friend who once snorted early. Hey, he snorted. Been. It happened like 15 years ago, and it still brings a smile to my face. You he's see, been. I no, love my no. friends, yeah. but I love watching them suffer even more. But you also gotta be willing to let certain ones go. Yeah, bro. For you, gotta, show. you gotta be for willing to show. find similar friends. But there's ones that I wish... I still was kind of close with it because it'd be cool. It'd be yeah. cool at this point. As long as you're breathing, it's fine. Homie dying sad. Homie screaming in agony after over-rotating the backflip. Hilarious. <laughs> Remember, people, not stuff, make life worth living. Sure, money can buy a lot of things, but it can't buy the joy of seeing your friends truly suffer. <laughs> Number eight, That's college. Crazy. Picture this. Prime kitty, copious amounts of drugs, allergic to latex bracelet. Could you not see how this would lead to a good time? College is the best use of your money, regardless of yeah. how much it costs. I know the price of tuition has skyrocketed, but you can't put a price on character development. Where else you? I'm not gonna lie, college was. It was fun. Uh, it was I can't cap. I can't fucking cap. There was like, I had. I think in college I had like two like, not heartbreaks, but like damn. I. I, I, I got. I got first one. I got to lock in. One, I had yeah, two yeah, in college. Yeah. Where I'm like, okay, I got to yeah, lock in. Or I played this role, and I was like, nah, I don't like that. I mean, I played this role. I'm like, nah, I don't like that. Then I found a third. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh yeah, this shit made. Demon on pussy. Yeah. Nah, I'm glad I went. Yeah. Wish I didn't spend the money. Facts. Tyson. Parties were cool. Yeah. All of that was cool. It's yeah. just the memories. Tuition. The memories, great. It's just, just boy, hey, look. Hey, <laughs> y'all gonna have to get y'all's black and blood. But <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get that. You gotta come get it. You're gonna learn how to stalk your ex or cover your tracks. Can't be at home theory crafting. You need to be out in the field testing your hypothesis. Whoa. That's what college is. Trial with a lot of error. Making as many mistakes as possible and hoping nice. to gain something other than chlamydia. Because every bad... Uh, the craziest part about college, bro, college solidified that I wasn't the average learner. Because I remember, bro, I walked into computer science class I didn't know what this nigga was talking about. I was mm -hmm. like, bro, what the hell is this? Like, and everybody else is just da da da. These niggas been programming since freshman year of high school. And I'm Are like, you caught up, bro. I caught up at the end of end of my second semester, <laughs> <laughs> and it still wasn't close enough. That wait, I thought you was. So you wasn't the average learner in a bad way. Yeah. Oh. Because <laughs> it took, it took, it took I, me, once I, I finally caught up, bro, it's like I couldn't learn in class. Like, my professors, I didn't understand how they explained it. But, like, I can literally, I would go to YouTube, watch a tutorial about what he was lecturing. Like, for example, uh, there's something called Do Wild Loops, right? At the time, because of how my professor explained it, I'm like, it's confusing. Bro, it's like, it was like gibberish. Mm -hmm. And I remember every day I would have to go watch a YouTube a YouTube tutorial. And it, it's a lecture. Like I was watching, um, it was like different teachers did post their lectures about Java programming on YouTube. Right. And like these other teachers would explain it so, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I just couldn't learn in class. I could not learn. It'd be like that. Bro. It'd be like that, bro. A decision is a learning opportunity. How else are you going to learn it's illegal to slip an air tag into a purse? Officer, I just wanted to make oh, sure she was safe. No, you all know it's dangerous sense. out there. You see, college Common is more sense, than bro. just academics. It's about learning who you are and how right. far you go to get what you want. Number nine, Amen. family. F*** your family. Uh, not literally. You know what I mean. Stop chasing their approval. Being 18. Yeah. Please. Please, for the love of God. Please, bro. Please. Trust me. If I was chasing family approval, I'd I would a, not be doing this career right a, here. I'd be in a worse position. I'm going to be honest. I always say this, bro. Um, this is everyone's first time at this. Yep. Everyone. And I think I think our generation of parents, like when you grow older with Mason and me when I finally have a child, I think we're going to be one of the best generations of parents. One of the first actually open-minded Yeah, and like generation. Knowing like 
Okay, everything is you in can't black go and white. to a school. Yeah, everything is it's nuanced. Yeah. You can go to school and it work or it still not work, or you can go straight from high school to the workforce. You can try something creative and maybe it don't work and you have to go work like regular. Yeah. Or it just take a while and then it do work. So it's just it's open so many nuances with it's life. life. It's like with me, I've been successful. In so many random facets, random. like like Whole selling, selling houses, houses, wholesaling pallets, bro. I made like five grand selling pallets, bro. Mm. Like I have done everything under the sun. I was making, I was making like six k a month. No, I was making five k a month when I was a delivery driver. Like just random shit, just man. random shit, and I'm like, school not for me. Yeah. So it's like, it's like. There's so many things out there and so many ways to make it successful. You're going to chase the approval of your parents when they just are one track minded in what is and they're, they they're already living their lives. Yeah. They might, they do want what's best for you for the most part, but you also have to remember do the life they want for you. Is that the life you see for yourself? Mm-hmm. Because you'll have some parents saying, Oh, uh, I want you to focus on school. Oh, don't do YouTube. Don't do this. Don't do that. And you could be surrounded around people who are successfully doing YouTube. And you're like, nah, I'm not going to do it because my parents, or I'm not going to lean into it because my parents, you're hindering yourself. When you can see it working in front of you. If I can see it working from online and you can see it working in front of you and you believe you have the skills and the, to and all, everything to do it. Why wouldn't you try while Facts. you're the youngest? Facts. Come on, bro. Also, last little tad bit of information I'm going to give y'all because I feel like this is golden. It always gets worse before it gets better. And I know that sounds crazy, but remember, it's the darkest the darkest before dawn. It is literally darker. Bef- it is the entire night is dark. But when the moon is gone and the sun isn't up yet, that is when it is the completely, it's so dark. And right before the sunshine, you're you're like, that's when you experience life gets bad. Like I have a friend right now who's experiencing a boatload of bad luck. And I mean a boatload. And because I've been there, it doesn't last forever. It doesn't last forever. And I've been in that same exact position. And I tell people, I'm like, bro, it's cool. Thug it out. I'm telling you it gets better. And I say that because. Because I've been through it so many times, I now can see those moments, and I'm like, "Yeah, something's good." And about you also notice, you ever notice, when you have a horrible day that's like outside the norm, it comes, come, life spins back with some like, boom. Like good. if we have a great recording day, or I mean a horrible just recording day or or two days, we know some crazy shit about about crazy shit about to happen, and it does every single time. So I'm telling you, so don't get discouraged. Just all all you have to do in those moments is continue to try. And with that being said, let's get back. It's a comedy video. Let's get it back means they the can't tell you. you know Stop vaping. Stop, Stop stalking your ex. Stop sticking it in the vacuum cleaner. You can't tell oh, me what to do anymore. Advice, Mom, though. now stop bothering yeah. me when I'm cleaning. Seriously, why is all their advice trash? <laughs> Playing video games isn't a job. Tell that to Dr. Disrespect. All he does is play children. Oh. Games. And parents are always oh. trying to guilt trip you. You should spend more time with us. Why? So you can tell me I'm wasting my potential? I already have six hours of Fortnite and three FAP sessions to get to. My schedule's full! And then it's there's the busy, classic, bro. well, back in my day. Back in your day when a house was 20 grand, they yeah. didn't give loans to darkies? Oh, it must oh, have been so <laughs> difficult to survive in your all-white <laughs> cul-de-sac. Meanwhile, I'm worried my Uber Eats driver is stalking me after I was too poor to tip him. Please, tell me, who was hunting you at 18? And just when you find a little bit of that happiness. Was so they just have to say. Why can't you find a nice Christian girl? Something tells me her religion isn't what's oh, bothering you. Now stop cutting holes in the sheets. Face it, your family oh, is trash. You're not oh. what's bothering you. Now stop cutting holes in the sheets. Face <laughs> it, your family is trash. Jeez. Bro, fam- when it comes to relationships, bro, families sometimes suck. Like, they also sometimes right. And sometimes they are also right. Like, Let's take an example. If you got the the you, if you got an awesome mom and you know like yeah okay my mom is one of the good moms or the she may not be the coolest but she you like she's you a good tell, mom she's a good mom and she be like 
Something ain't right with that partner you got there. I don't know what it is, but something ain't right. You might want to look into you might, that. Bro, I'm telling you. You might want to. I'm telling you. Because I ain't going to lie. Even your friends. I ain't going to lie. Mama, Mama P even put me up on game on somebody a long time ago. And I wish I would have listened. Mm-hmm. I wish I would have listened. Mm-hmm. And I was like, nah. And then there's certain friends we had to cut off where she I was. think back of how she used to. Ask about them and talk yeah. about them. Like, ah, she could see, see it the she whole time. She could have seen it the whole time. Yeah. yeah. She seen it the whole, so sometimes, now, if they get disrespectful about it, that's when you probably got to, you know what I'm saying, yeah. you probably got to, hey, mom, dad, chill. Yeah. You still might want to look into it, but yeah, chill, but bro. You don't like, got to get disrespectful, but, you know. At the end of the day, your parents do want what's best for you. Sometimes they just stupid. <laughs> You're not lucky to have them. They're lucky to have you. Your vape clouds give some much needed flavor to their bland <laughs> lives. Who else walks into a room like Batman? <laughs> They pretend you're the villain when you're really the hero. So if you like hanging out with your family, then go ahead. But if not, then don't sweat it. Life's too short to waste time seeking validation from people who peaked in Ah. high school. After all, who needs them when you have a perfectly good vacuum cleaner to talk to? Uh, Bro, leave the vacuum cleaner alone. Number 10, mental health. Now, you're going to be too poor to afford therapy, so start getting used to laughing away the pain. Car broke down, bank account dry, and is that rain? (laughs) Of course it is. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? You see, as a kid, you think adults are strong when they're really damaged. Just a bunch of fragile boxes saying, don't touch me. Hey, hey, it's okay. All you need is a little dark humor to patch you up. Think of it like emotional duct true. tape, holding everything kinda together true. until the next breakdown. Remember, it's we're all true. just one I'm pregnant text away from losing our sh**. So stop stressing up. Right, the bro, that, 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 them pregnancy scares hit the hard, bro. bro. Well, uh, you bro. know your life ain't where those to get bro. you like, ah! Uh, uh, ah! Your boy blessed, bro. Your boy ah! But if I, man, I'll, I'll be thinking, I'll be thinking about certain things in the past. I'm like, wow, well, I, I dodged a bullet. Dodged <laughs> a big bullet. What? Get out man. life and embrace the chaos. Laugh at the absurdity. Meme your way through the madness. Because if your life's a joke, then it might oh. as well be a funny joke. So that's my vid on how to survive over that's 18. Crazy. Probably weren't the tips you were expecting, but they're the tips you deserve. Hey, and just remember, Someone pork Someone chops works. are made for roasting, not uh. pork and Patrick. Uh. Amy's here again. You're making her wet with our water. Remember, mental breakdowns that's are just insane. character development. If you're worried about your... I ain't gonna lie. I said they kind of are. I said this to Simba, bro. They kind of are. I said this to Simba, and I said this to a friend. I'm good off of character development at this That's point. That's true. I'm good off of heartbreak. I'm good off of being hurt. I'm good off. Well, of that's because you're thirty, but most of them is like 18, 20. And you are. I'm thirty-one point eight billion years old. That's cool. Bro. Take your head off. That's why we good off. Take your character. head off. Let's character development. Then just bitch. ask him how he's doing. If he says, I'm. F- As I was saying, motherfucker. You should have to do me like that, motherfucker. I was dropping some, I was dropping some real deals. It's chills. cool, bro. I was dropping some real deals, man. Finish your deals, man. Why you have to do me like that? I thought we going to finish the bloopers or. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. He's only dealing with a mild amount of depression. If he says, what? <laughs> Then find him some dragons to yeah. smash. Help yeah. him bust before he busts. Please, himself. for the love of God. Mm, that no was you. a crazy silhouette. Oh, that was W. Hey, that was W. Great video, everyone.